Hello, I'm Martin Park. You can call me Coach. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to discuss six actionable recommendations that you can implement into your current lifestyle that will help you to avoid any unintentional weight gain. And these are all important and in no specific order. Recommendation number one, mindful eating. And with this, I'm not referring to sitting there chewing and swallowing while considering the taste and texture. What I'm referring to is you training yourself to be aware of what is in the food that you are eating. What nutrients does it contain? Are those nutrients needed by your body at this particular time? What is the calorie value of the portion that you are going to be eating? Does it have any added nasties that you don't want to be eating like chemicals or preservatives or trans fats or unnecessary sugar? If it is takeaway, how was it cooked? Was it boiled or steamed or deep fried or stir fried or something else? And before you start to fill your head with negative self-talk like, that's a lot, how am I going to do that? The amount of time you will have to spend to acquire the knowledge that you will need to be able to practice this version of mindful eating so as to not only avoid any unintentional weight gain, but to also markedly improve your overall well-being is far less than it takes to learn to drive a car. And we are talking about learning to drive your machine, your body, the thing that you have been gifted from birth and that you'll spend your entire earthly life with. So get on with it. Recommendation number two, regularly weigh yourself. Knowing what you weigh is the bedrock of weight control. It is the fundamental thing that allows you to gauge where you are at any point in time and it should be part of your daily routine. My preferred way of keeping track would be to weigh yourself at the same time every day and ideally naked, but if that's not practical, then in the same or very similar shoes and clothes. I would then record that for the week, seven days, then add each day's weight together and divide that by seven for your weekly average. Doing it this way helps to level out any fluctuations and gives you your average for the week. You would then repeat that each week and that would give you a valuable guide as to whether you are gaining or losing or maintaining which you can then, if necessary, take any action before it gets out of control. If you don't have access to a reliable scale like those that are at a good gym, then you'll have to buy one for your home. They aren't that expensive and it's worth testing some of the cheaper ones as they can be just as accurate as the more expensive ones. Recommendation number three, eat your calories, don't drink them. Whenever there is a solid version of the food that you are about to drink, then choose it. And by that I mean, don't drink the juice, eat the fruit. Don't drink the vegetables, eat the vegetables. Don't drink your carbohydrates as soft drink or soda or whatever you call it. Eat your carbohydrates as solid food. Applying this rule whenever you can will not only help to eliminate a lot of unnecessary calories, but also will help provide you with more fiber, more micronutrients and more fullness. So lock it in. Recommendation number four, make most of your meals home cooked or prepared. When you cook or prepare your own meals, you have control over the ingredients that go into them. That way, you can choose healthier ingredients such as fresh fruit and vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains, and these ingredients are typically low in calories and higher in nutrients than the ingredients found in most takeaway meals, which often contain high levels of sodium, unhealthy fats, and added sugars. Additionally, you can swap out high calorie ingredients for lower calorie alternatives, such as Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, or using herbs and spices instead of salt, fat, and sugar. Also, and most important, when you cook or prepare your own meals, you have control over the portion sizes. Takeaway meals often contain larger portion sizes than is necessary, which then can contribute to overeating and unnecessary weight gain as you try to finish everything on the plate in front of you. I'm not suggesting that you try to become a master chef, but anyone can learn the basics of cooking simple, humble food. And while it may require more time and effort, the benefits of home cooking are well worth the investment. Recommendation number five, learn to manage your stress. In my experience, when it comes to weight management, stress can be a major factor. From stress eating and drinking, where you turn to high calorie comfort foods or alcohol to cope with your emotions, to a stress induced lack of motivation to exercise, as let's face it, it's hard to find the energy to work out when you're feeling overwhelmed, to stress related sleep problems that can disrupt hormones that regulate appetite and metabolism, making it harder for you to control your food intake and the list goes on. By taking a proactive approach to managing your stress, 
you will give yourself a much better chance of being able to control your weight and your overall health and well-being. There are many ways to achieve this, and what you choose to incorporate into your lifestyle to manage your stress is something that you will have to work out for yourself, as this is a personal thing. My recommendation would be, find ways and things that are doable and that you like, and then get started immediately. Recommendation number six, don't lead a sedentary lifestyle. One of my favorite things in life is to lie in a very hot, deep bath while drinking a very cold beer while watching one of my favorite movies on a TV screen mounted on the wall. And if left alone, I will just keep topping up the bath with hot water and the glass with cold beer until the movie has finished. Then I'll stagger out of the bathroom and fall onto my bed and drift off to sleep with a cool breeze blowing across my naked body. We all like comfort and pleasure and fun, but we are a machine that has been built from the ground up to move. And the more we move, and in as many ways as we can and enjoy, then the better our machines will function. This is a huge topic and one that I will cover in more detail in upcoming videos. For now, spend as much time as you can being active. No excuses. These are six recommendations that I believe if you incorporate them into your lifestyle, they will go a long way towards assisting you to avoid any unintentional weight gain. I thank you for watching and I look forward to spending some time with you again. Bye for now.